Hello and welcome to Zion After Dark, also known as the next Steam Next Fest demo video for February 2024. And today, as you can see, we are playing Balatro, which is a very classy looking poker roguelike. So, we just played a roguelike with Breachway, but this one is gambling, apparently. Will YouTube like that? Probably not. But Balatro is a hypnotically satisfying deck builder where you play illegal poker hands, discover game-changing jokers, and trigger adrenaline-pumping outrageous combos. Now, if you've seen any streams where I've played the Yakuza slash Like a Dragon series, you will know that I love a bit of poker. However, it's very rare that I come away with more money than I went in with. So... We'll see how this goes, because I don't know what happens when we run out of money. I'm guessing some big, l some large individual will come up to me and throw me out of the casino. But <laughs> let's find out. This is scheduled for release on the 20th of February, which is actually very, very close. That's about uh, just less than two weeks away as of recording this video. And it is developed by Local Thunk and published by Playstack. Now, I've never seen a poker roguelike before, so... I'm interested to see where this goes, or how that even works. It's got Jimbo. I'm here to help you learn how to play. Earn chips to defeat the enemy blind. Okay. This here is a small blind. You only need to score 300 chips to beat it. Easy enough. Select it to start the round. Gotcha. Yeah. But just no explanation of why we're doing this, or why this, or how this is a roguelike, but okay. Earn chips by playing poker hands. I know those. Each poker hand earns a base amount of chips multiplied by some mult. Are we... Is this text of Hold'em? Is that what we're doing here? See your poker hands in the run info area along with other info about your current run. Alright, cool. So, these are our hands. Yeah, straight flush, four of kind, full house, flush, straight, two pair, high card, lovely. Okay, yeah, standard stuff. Lovely stuff. Cards also earn you some chips. I do like chips. So, plus 11 for the ace, plus 10 for the kings and jacks, and then, I guess, numbers for the rest of them. Yeah, plus 2, plus 2, plus 5. Lovely. Select up to 5 cards to play, and press play hand. Okay, well... Uh... I feel like we might as well go in with the high cards, and... Although we do have a pair already. Well, I guess we are playing 5 cards. So, maybe if we just go with high cards and, and a pair, if we have to select 5... I can do that. Look at that. Ah, so it just plays them immediately. Okay. So we're not really playing against someone. I guess we just need to beat the blind, which is 300. You can also discard up to five selected cards to try and make even stronger hands. Okay, well, uh, we've got a three, four, five. If we get a six, we're in for a straight, so we don't want to get rid of those. We do have two pairs, though. Oh, hang on a minute. No, that's not really how it works, is it? Because th this isn't like Texas Hold'em, where we're being dealt more cards. We're just... Or maybe... I feel like there's not been a lot of explanation. So we can select up to five cards, which to me implies that we can go in with three or four and perhaps have a better... Perhaps get another card after that. So I'm going to go in with... A two pair, and then if we get a four or a queen, we'll uh, be in the money. Um, so let's. Oh no, 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 we don't want to discard these ones. We'll discard the three, and we'll discard the seven. No, I'll discard the five. Yeah, there you go. So now we get some extra ones. Okay, you only have a limited number of hands and discards per round. Okay, earn 300 hits before you run out of hands. I feel like we've gone in with, like, zero explanation, but I'm kind of okay with it. Also, really wish I hadn't got rid of that five, but that's okay. Um, so we'll we'll go with that. We'll go with a, a cheeky little two pair. And then do we get another? Do we get a fifth card? No. Okay. Interesting. That's not how I thought that would work. <laughs> Yeah, we're playing a very different kind of poker here, boys. <laughs> okay, so uh, we'll just keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, that's just a, an easy straight. Stick them in. And then we get a big old multiplier. 
Guys, I've, I've absolutely smashed that. Look at that. 400. 404. Done, done, done. So what happens next? Like, what makes this a roguelike? I got $5. I feel like that wasn't really worth my time, but... <laughs> so what happens next? Now that you're flush with cash, you can buy some new cards from the shop. Try buying this handsome devil. That just gives us a bigger multiplier, okay. This is one of the 150 jokers you can add to your run. Every joker does something different. That's impressive. This one adds plus four multipliers to every hand that you play. You can only carry five of these at a time. Now buy the other card. Enhances two selected cards to mult cards. Go on. This tarot card is a consumable. This one will enhance your playing cards. Hold on to it. You can carry up to two consumable cards with you at a time. If you can save up enough, you can buy a voucher. Vouchers will passively upgrade your run. Okay. Vouchers are restocked after you defeat the boss blind. So we're not playing against other players. We just need to make as much money as possible. Check out both of the booster packs in every shop. They're full of goodies. Move on. What a strange little game this is so far. <laughs> Selecting the big blind will earn some cash. Yeah, I mean, that that's what we're here for. Or choose to skip it to get a tag. Each tag has a unique effect. But keep an eye on the boss blind. It has an ability you'll need to plan around. So the boss blind, the hook, will discard two random cards per hand played. And to beat that, we need to score at least 600. Okay. If you beat it, the ante goes up and all blinds become harder. Which is at the bottom here, the ante. Beat ante 8 to win. Now choose your path. Okay, so we can skip that or that will take us on to the next. We'll go straight to the boss, which I feel like is a bold move. <laughs> Gives $1 per unused discard this run. We'll give you $2. I feel like that's not worth it. All right, let's just go for the big blind and see how we see how we do. So we need to score 450. When you get more cards, remember you can rearrange them. Joker's trigger in order from left to right. Make sure that you use your consumables. Select up to two cards in your hand and press use on the tarot card to enhance them. So what does this do again? Enhances two select cards to multiplier cards. Well, I feel like that would make sense to use it on the two highest ones. Seeing as we're going to use those because we've already got a, a pair here. So we'll slot those in. Okay, nice. And uh, we'll take a, a cheeky two pair. Lovely. Oh, wow, that adds a lot of multiplayer. Oh, my goodness. We're all, we've already done it in one go. I'm the best. I'm the best poker player there is. It took me one turn. Woo! <laughs> Look at me go. Four remaining hands. We get four dot. Wow, four dollars. Incredible. You know, when it said like four dollar signs, I thought it was just like large amount of dollars. No, it's literally four dollars. <laughs> all right. Cool. So, uh, what does the voucher do? Permanently gain plus one hand per round. Permanently. I'm in. You got me. That was all of my dollar, but I'm in. Let's go to the next round. So now we have to fight the hook, which is the big boss. So we need to score at least 600. Hmm. So we've got a we got a two pair in there. If only I had a ten, that'd be nice. But we have multiple hands to do this. We've got five hands to, uh, or six hands even, to get to $600. So maybe if we hold on to... Ah, so that one's still upgraded from the last round after we use the tarot card. So we'll save that. We'll use these. Or can we save that? Or I guess we should just play it anyway. Because I think we lose them after this hand. So we'll just play it. And it'll give us the extra multiplier at least. Or will it? Or won't it? Because we didn't actually... It's not actually included in our, like, winning hand. You know what? We still got 324, so I'll take it. What do we have here? Not a lot. We got a, a two pair. So what I'm going to do is discard... These. 
And then we... Oh, okay. Well, sweet. We got a uh, cheeky little full house. Lovely. I mean, at what point does it stop being a roguelike and it just becomes me playing poker? <laughs> you know? I'm not really feeling the roguelike aspects so far. But I don't know how far it goes. Like, is that just our run beating that boss? Or is there another boss after? I got $9, though. We just keep going. Okay. Um, so we can buy another... What does this voucher do? Plus one hand size. Eh. Played cards with odd ranked give plus 30 chips when scored. Or uncommon jokers each give 1.5 times multiplier. Let's go with uh, let's go with this one. What is the sneak peek? Oh, only available in the full version of the game. All right, we'll slap in a joker. So these go in order, right? So I guess we want the multiplier one to go before the odd one because that multiplies it more? Question <laughs> mark. I don't know. Let's buy a. Let's buy a. Let's buy a tarot card in this pack. I genuinely feel like I'm just. I'm just gambling. And we can only choose one of these. So doubles money. <laughs> Currently got zero dollars, so that's worthless. Stone card. I don't know what that is. Increases rank of up to two selected cards by one. Enhances two selected cards to bonus cards. Well, let's go with that one. Um, and let's just enhance. Can we double enhance that queen? Can we make it even better? It did have an improvement, although I think it also got rid of our multiplier, which is not ideal. Okay, well, round two, I guess. Oh, that's a good hand. Can we risk it and get... Can we just dis discard all of these and try and get a 10. Got a 10. The best. Uh, cheeky straight. Lovely. Oh, that was our upgraded Queen of Hearts as well, so. I just, in, in one. In one. I might be the greatest poker player to have ever lived. I'm going to end up on one of those, you know those TV shows that are on Channel 4 at like 3 o'clock in the morning and it's just people playing poker? That's where you're going to see me next. YouTube, Twitch, we're done. I'm going to go play professional poker and uh, lose every penny that I've got. Right, played cards with a spade suit give plus 4 multiplier when scored. This feels like a bit of a no-brainer to me. Slap that in there. Big blind, score at least 1,200, or skip to give a free Mega Arcana pack. Well, no. <laughs> We're going to play it. I want my $4. <laughs> That's what I'm going to get from this. Oh, dear. Right. There's no spades in... Oh, we could just play a spade, right? I still don't know if that actually gets us any points. I didn't really concentrate last time, which was foolish. Let's see. No, okay, so cards that aren't included in the actual, like, winning hand don't count. Good to know, though. We've learned that. We've learned. And now we have... Well, I'm going to do some discarding. Get rid of the odd ones out, and maybe we'll get a full house. I don't know. What a prediction. What a prediction from old Zioni here. Lovely. I tell you what, I'm smashing this so far. I feel like we could go all the way. We're not going to. <laughs> we're going to play, like, the boss blind of this run. And then that's where we're going to finish up. Because I feel like we don't need to go too deep into this game. I feel like as enjoyable it is, as it is, it's quite a simple game. And I don't think we need to see hours and hours of it. Right, let's see what we can have for our last round. Another Joker. Plus one mult per hand played, minus one mult per discard. Oh, but I kind of like discarding because we're getting some good stuff out of it. Or plus one multiplier per tarot card using this run, which we... Oh, no, we do. We've already used them, so it's currently plus two. Go on, then. I've got four dollars to spare. And I guess we'll see what a planet card does. Like, what the difference is between that and the tarot card. It's really shiny is what it is. Okay. 
Level up flush, plus two multiplier. Level up straight, level up straight flush, level up player, full house, level up pair. Okay, so it just basically when you play one of those hands, once you level it up with one of these cards, you'll just gain a bigger multiplier from it. Well, I feel like leveling up a pair is a good idea. I mean, it's like the lowest paying one, but it comes up quite a lot. So go on then. Cool. Just all cards all the time. I suppose when you think about roguelike deck builders, it makes sense to have a literal deck of cards. I feel like it's probably the most literal deck builder I, I've ever seen. Right, extra large blind. We need to score 3,200. Yikes. Okie dokie. Let's uh, bin you guys off. Ooh, excellent. Another full house. And we did play a, a couple of spades in there, so we'll get even more multiplier off that. Ooh! That's a lot of points. Look at that. <laughs> that's, that's points all over the place. Times 18. I've done it in one. He's a genius. He is the best. <laughs> he is the best in one go. I made $10 from that. I really hope the people at, you know, actual poker tournaments make more than $10. <laughs> a lot more than $10. But there we go. Right, that was a very short look at Balatro. I feel like we don't need to go super far in this demo. I feel like you've got the idea from that sort of opening short part. But it's quite fun so far. I could see myself actually playing quite a lot of that with maybe just like a podcast or a stream or some YouTube videos going in the background. It's quite enjoyable. It's very simple uh, if you have just basically any knowledge of poker, which I have a very low knowledge of poker, extremely low knowledge, but enough to get through. And I feel like that's more than enough to understand this game and get through it. It's very simple. It, it looks nice as well. I must admit I like this sort of 90s VHS look we've got going on at the moment. The art style is pretty simple, but fancy. It's that nice just pixel style. There's a lot of cards, uh, 150 jokers, I think it said, that will help you or hinder you along the way. So that's quite exciting. But yeah, I feel like it's a very simple game. It comes out very soon. So if you want to give it a look, it comes out on the 20th of February, which hopefully this video will be up before then. It's probably going to be less than 15 minutes long. So if it's not edited by the 20th of February, um, I think I need to sit down and take a good long look at myself, but there you go. So hopefully you have enjoyed a quick little look at Bolatro, the poker roguelike. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to give this a like, subscribe if you fancy and you want to see more demos, playthroughs and all sorts of other lovely things. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.